to really serve God. First, you have to know those who serve God before you pay the price for their belief. It cannot be cheaper now than it was then. We are passing through the way of our forefathers. First from the Garden of Eden, Cain and Abel, same father, same mother, one gave a better offering. The one whose offering was rejected was beheaded by the one who gave a good offering. Today, the Bible record, the blood of Abel cried out from the ground. No price is too high for your dream. No price is too high for your belief. Except if you are not a believer. I jokingly said to Bishop Reed yesterday, supposing somebody came to Panel and said, where is Mr. Clemson? I said, here am I. Did I hear that you say your pastor's name is Bishop Reed? Say yes, say nobody like that. Supposing you are told your name is not your name. Are you going to kill yourself? Supposing somebody stands before you and says, you are not a man, you are a woman. <laughs> <laughs> if you have sense, you don't argue. You say, thank you very much, but I know whom I am. Did you hear what I'm saying? Because if you begin to drag, I'm a man, you are not a man, I'm a man. Tyson may bite your ears. <laughs> Let me pause to ask you. Supposing you were Joseph who dreamt a dream. And the first people you told were not witches and wizards, but your brethren. And to compensate you for your dreaming, they sold you. Or well, let's start from the beginning. I dreamt a dream. Suddenly, your brother said, they are no more your brother. They hate you. Then you still go to bed and God said, Joseph, good morning, good morning. One more dream. You are going to say, please don't. I'm not sure you are aware of what happened to the first one. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Now you, God gave you another dream. But foolish enough or wise enough, one of the two must be the reason. He called them again and said, you are angry for the first one, but look at the second one. <laughs> are you hearing me? Then he told them the third one, he said, I saw all of you bow your head and give me respect. They say, before we do that, you will be sold. Joseph was thrown to prison. They took his coat. Then they bought him and took him to Egypt. When he got to Egypt, the wife of the king, Potiphar's wife, took his second coat. His brethren took his first coat, men. The woman took his second coat. Male and female made he them. But the only thing they couldn't take away from Joseph is his dream. You can lose your first coat and lose your second coat for your dream. But don't lose your dream if you lose your coat. Because a few years later, 17 years later, Joseph was not only having coats, he was sitting on the throne as the governor general of Egypt. Somebody say Hallelujah. What price have you paid for your belief? What price have you paid for your confession of salvation? Supposing now that you are a Christian, suddenly, as you close tonight, God forbid, you are about to enter your car, and another car bash your car, boom, and you lose your leg. Will you still say, thank you, Jesus? Or you say, how I wish I didn't go to church. If God have need of you, 
think of someone like Saul of Tarsus. He became a Christian on Monday on the way to Damascus. On Wednesday, the people he worked for before now agreed he must kill him. And Saul ran to the Christians. And the Bible said they whipped a basket and put him in the basket and threw him over the fence for his new confession. He escaped to another town to preach the gospel. What price will you pay for your dream? Supposing you are not a Christian preacher. You are just a businessman. And you borrowed 10000 to establish a business. Three days later, you lost the whole thing. Yet God spoke to you distinctly. Do computer business. Your business has boggled. All the computer packed. Will you say God didn't say so? Or you are going to say the devil said so? What price are you willing to pay for your dream? How far will you go with your dream? That's my question tonight. When it's rough, do you still believe God is with you? When the road is harder than you thought, and the journey is farther than you thought, what price are you willing to pay to get to where you want to go?